they were back in the dormitory. Um, yeah. Not much to say, just talk to my friend because our professor is coming to check out our dormitory situation because everyone is really complaining about it. And I was just like, you know what? <laughs> it's a joke, guys. But yeah, I started to name the cockroaches in the bathroom. So it's just e easier to do a meet and greet when you know the names of uh, your new friends, right? <laughs> they seem to be there every, way, every day anyway. So you just have to roll with it i assume no um let's be honest here i don't i don't super super dig the really high beds especially not when my stomach is annoying but apart from that like the wi-fi is working usually pretty fine today not so much but it's usually working pretty fine and uh it's clean here the ie comes every day to clean and uh, the air condition is working and we're staying here for free I have to say this, like, oh, I don't understand why we can't appreciate it more than, like, this is for free. They gave it to us for free. And they're right now renovating an even better dormitory for us to stay in for the next long amount of time in China. Like, how lucky can we be, right? And I met so many amazing people here and I'm lucky because most of my friends are in this dormitory because there are some in the other dormitory in campus, the Chinese dormitory, and they were like, oh yeah, we're not really a part of anything because everyone's in the bad one. I don't understand why we should call it refugee camp. No, it's just, it's a normal dormitory. Like, okay, it's annoying they close the door in the evening at 11 p.m., but then you just knock the door and I, she will come and open and just, you know, seize the day, right? Be positive. I really, I don't see this as a problem. You know, guys, where I stayed last time. So <laughs> I really don't see it as a problem. And especially not if it's for f when it's for free. Like, I really appreciate. I'm so excited about it. Like, it's nice. Yeah, no worries. Anyway, uh, I would like a kitchen. That's what I would like. But then again <laughs> who wouldn't like a kitchen right and uh yeah no i just I just, my message here is just that i really hope people will learn to appreciate what they got already because there are so many other people living in far worse conditions and we're only two people in the room like just think about the chinese and their roommates there are so many in one room so we should be very happy about that and uh, yeah, uh, back to what is Ling Ling doing right now. It's afternoon, just taking a chill uh, before I'm gonna go to a welcoming party at the bar. Yes, here in Beijing, they have one place called the bar and then one called the other place. And it's so confusing. People are like, yeah, we're going to the bar. Which bar? The bar, you know, the bar. No, which one? The other place. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, just kidding. Um, no, I'm not kidding. It's actually the name is but just chilling, just uh, having fun, guys. Uh, yeah. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. Mm, I do this too much. Sorry. <laughs> uh, going to the bar for the welcoming party later, and that's about it. So I hope you guys are ready to come with me. Not yet. Take a chill first, and then we should. Go. Going to the main campus to have dinner with my friend and then we're gonna go to the party. Yay for that! Today's dinner. Yeah, I, I can't really tell you. There's some meat and some vegetables, tomato and egg and rice. <laughs> I love that this is the girls' bathroom in the dormitory. Yep. So while my friend is putting on his contact lenses, I'm just gonna show you guys how much nicer his room is compared to mine. Look, he got a bed like this on the floor. How unfair is that guys? And it's so big and yes, I'm sitting on one as well. And there is a mattress, an actual mattress, come on. Big window, they got a table, they got a fridge and a TV. What the F? I am so jealous right now. <laughs> so I just want to give you guys a little heads up of what is going on in uh, the campus. Right now we have had dinner and now while well, Luke is putting his contact lenses 
Is it on or in his eyes? Fuck. Yeah, yeah he already started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's like a free a drama show here. I can just sit and watch. I don't have to uh, use my Wi-Fi for that. <laughs> my geek <gigabyte. laughs> <laughs> And when I'm making fun, he really cannot do it. <laughs> anyway, we're already late to our opening party because we met some of Luke's uh, classmates and they were so much fun that we kind of forgot all about the party. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go very soon. So I'm gonna take you guys with me so you can see what's going on in the bar. Woo! Yeah, look how excited he is. Nope. Yeah. That was just me boosting myself up for the next contact man. Oh, wow. Oh, you already got the first one in? Yeah. Wow, he's very Lehigh, I would say. Mm. Yeah. yeah, very much. Mm. So we just arrived at the bar here, the bar. It's just outside the campus, which is so Fangbian, it's really convenient. So let's go in and have a look, shall we? Ooh, okay, the party hasn't started yet. <laughs> Ребят, дайте, пожалуйста, Thank you. There's so many of the other vlogs that I haven't finished because we had a blast and then I totally forgot about you guys. I'm really sorry about that. It's obviously not on purpose, but you know. Anyway, I uh, just finished the party. It's uh, midnight right now. We have been dancing and singing, playing drums and drinking tea. That was really random. They had a tea ceremony in the party, in the bar. But anyway, it's a really cool bar. I'm definitely gonna go back there. It's a cafe during da daytime, so I would definitely uh, go in there during daytime to have a cup of coffee and do my videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, just wanna wish you all a great day or evening wherever you are. I am ready to go to bed now. Probably gonna have my oatmeal first, just to calm my stomach. I had to go back because uh, she wasn't happy, <laughs> uh, but... I think she's a little more calm now, so it was just a sudden pain and then went away again, so I don't know what that's about, but anyway, just hope you guys are happy because I'm feeling better now and kind of happy as well. Met a lot of new guys again, new friends, also talked to my new friends and we became even better friends, if that makes any sense. And now I'm just walking back to wake up Ai. I'm sorry for the eye. I really, I, I don't like to wake her up, you know, it's just really hard to come back before 11 p.m. when you're used to no curfews, so sorry for that. But anyway, Ling Ling is out. See you guys tomorrow and 再见. Good night.